Philip Schofield, a man who was known to me as a gentleman with frosty tips, hosting a show my mum liked to watch when we were on holiday. Now, if you're anyone who does not live in the United Kingdom, you probably don't have a scooby dooby who this man is, but Philip is a presenter. I'm going to break it down for you. Philip, or Phil, because we, uh, we're on a first name basis, is a presenter and has been a straight presenter for 20 years. Now, a couple years ago, he got into a little bit of trouble with affairs and having relationships with much younger men. But then he had a change of heart and he actually decided he was gay. Now, the past couple years, this is a presenter who is homosexual and pretended to his wife, kids. He was a man who liked female genitalia brackets the judges. Now I'm sure it came as no surprise that this man who I thought was gay since I saw him on telly for the first time was someone who liked peepees. Now obviously there's nothing wrong with that whatever you like to put in your mouth go ahead for example I love putting thick big lengthy garden gnomes in my mouth doesn't mean I tell people that you do you boo boo. But the fact that times got a little bit tough for him and he pulls the gay card just doesn't quite sit right with me to be honest. He was not going to reveal it until he, he got into a little bit of trouble. If he was hiding it as well. The fact he's hidden this for so long, what else could he be hiding? A slippery little slime be doing behind the good people's back. So he's told the world he cheated on his wife for many years, probably many times with many different blokes, and he's lied to everyone in his life, from his work colleagues to his bosses to his kids. They knew nothing, apparently. Now, I'm very confused about this as, well, as I said earlier, I, I thought he was gay forever. My gay dial was off the charts. It was ding, 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 ding. Now, I'm sure he felt very uncomfortable with revealing his sexual orientation, and that that isn't how society should be. I know that. I know gay people. Um, they're not my friends. I try to avoid in case they pass it on to me. That was humour. <laughs> For any of you knuckleheads, see if you can spot it throughout the programme. But yeah, I have family and friends, and when they came out, it wasn't a big deal. Now, I couldn't give a, a shit what you like, really. My life goes, if you're a twat, no matter white, black, anything in between, doesn't really matter to me, and I will hate you no matter what. Now, I hope people don't mind me saying this, but it isn't a big deal, and it shouldn't be treated as a big deal. The sooner we get past it becoming a big thing that, you know, it's just normal. It, it doesn't need to be explained. It doesn't need to, you know, in order for gay and lesbian people to be completely equal, which, you know, they are in places, for example, the Europe and not in others, the US, we need to stop acting like it's a big deal revealing what you want in your mouth. If someone asks you, you say PP or GG. Or, I don't know, I'm being a bit of a whore right now and trying all the items on the menu, which again, no problem at all. If you want to know what they like, ask them. Don't be shy. Excuse me, sir, what is your preferences? Are you allergic to anything on the menu? I like soggy fish with long breadsticks to start and a big wet sloppy jelly with ice cream to finish. And while if someone gives you that answer, probably a sign to get out of there. However, being gay is not a crime and hasn't been for many years in most countries. Now back to, back to Philip. The problem is when the ship started to sink, he dropped his family in first and then decided to shine himself by saying, it's not my fault, I was cock deprived. Now again, nothing wrong with wanting it. I just think he should have said something 20 years ago and I know it was difficult back then so at least maybe five years ago because he got away with it he uh, all these things went under people forgot people stopped thinking about it until recently so recently something even more worrying came out now it turns out he potentially rumor i think it probably did something did happen obviously he did lots of interviews he basically nurtured a kid got him a job helped him pursue his career in some sort of tv role signed a contract with itv i'm sure he had a hand in that however like everyone else in the world he didn't read the small print he forgot about the t's and c's now it's clearly not seen South Park and he didn't realise that when he got old enough, included in his clauses, he would have to get to know Philip a little bit more personally shall we say. Now, we don't know if it happened before he was 18, and I'm not going to comment, but he did know him from a very young age. There's pictures, there's photographs, there's proof. He got him into the industry, let him in on the show, and, you know, there's there's plenty of evidence for this, so he can't, he can't deny it. However, what he did was pretty messed up, and considering his brother has recently been convicted and is an ex-police officer, going to jail for crimes of kiddie fiddling, you can only feel for the mother and father, who probably are mortified they decided to not click the abort button all them years ago. Having apologised for lots of things during my life, particularly to my mother who grows in shame every minute I spend with her, we're going to break down Phil's apology. Now before we begin, I'm not here to cause any, any hate towards Phil. I've never really liked him, just I think it's, the show he did was quite embarrassing, quite cringy, so it's not changed my opinion. I hope he learns from his uncontrollable urges and gets castrated. However, I hope through this he learns to help others in this. Instead of playing the victim on national TV and basically threatening 
the public that he's going to kill himself. He should be helping people. Today, I just wanted to watch his apology because it's uh, I have seen it. came out a while ago now, but I'm late to the party as always. So we're going to watch it. We're going to have a laugh because it's pretty embarrassing. And in terms of apology goes, I think I've seen better apologies from 12-year-old kids. So let's roll the clip. I am. I have to talk about Not to comment on how people look, but he looks like he's been enjoying a bit of a booze. About television in the past tense. Oh no, he has to talk about it in the past tense. How will he recover? How will he ever get over this? How could he not just keep the schlong behind the drapes? Right. And it is relentless, and it is day after day. What do you, do you want me to die? I feel like this is a trap. I'm not really sure what the answer is. Um, yeah, no, 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 I, I don't feel. But being perfectly honest, I don't really know who you are and people die all the time. So, uh, I, like I said, I, I feel this is a trick question, Phil. Please move on. I have lost everything. We've all lost stuff, Phil. You can grow a pair, mate. Just admit it. You're into kids, just like your brother. It's a gene. <gasps> oh, my God, it's a gene. We became... Mates. And then one day... Something happened that just... See, now he's taking time. He's clearly having flashbacks and he's thinking, what can I say and what can I not? Bro's sucking on a vape. Bro is sucking on a vape. <sighs> I've seen the memes before, but this... This is just something else. Bro, you're getting... Interviewed by the fucking Sun, the Telegraph, Talk TV. I don't know, there's so many fucking signs on the screen. And you're telling me you're gonna suck on a vape. It's not a good look, Phil. Considering you're on the internet and you know what memes are made of, I feel like you've just given everyone, you know, you didn't make it very hard for anyone. There is no question I did a bad thing. Unprofessional. First time. I know, I know. Only unprofessional, by the way. What he did, cheating on his wife, lying to them for years, lying to his kids, lying to ITV, it's only unprofessional. There's nothing else wrong with it. Unprofessional is the only word you can describe it as. Look, let's be honest, that was probably the worst apology we've ever seen. I think even Logan Paul's was a few percentages higher than that. Um, I'm not sure if he rehearsed it. I hope he didn't, because fuck me, if he did, Lord save us. So I'm, I'm, out of 10, I think we'll give that a... Um, we're going to give it a 1.5. And uh, the reason is, is because I got a good laugh when he had a vape. I thought that was hilarious, I think. Considering you're being interviewed for being potentially a, you know, whatever there. They're, they're calling you. Do you decide to suck on a colourful vape tasting of strawberries? I think that's pretty mind-blowing. He, he's apologised and disappeared. We'll probably never hear of him again, and I think that's probably best. About time he left TV, he was never any good. I hope more information comes out from the guy who it was with. I'm, I'll show his picture, but I'm not going to say his name. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the next year. Does he ever come back? Hopefully not. Someone else come forward, and then we're in bloody trouble. But look, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys.